Dear all, welcome back to my math channel, Math Web. Let us start question number 5 from Pearson and Excel A-level exam for pure math 3. Exam was taken in May-June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA13-01. In this question, the function f and g are defined by f of x equals 2 plus 5 log x. x is greater than 0. g of x equals 6x minus 2 over 2x plus 1. x is greater than 1 over 3. Find f inverse 22. It means you need to find inverse of f. You need to find the inverse of this function. These are the domains. Uh, first of all, to find the inverse of uh, x function f inverse x, you need to substitute f of x by y. It is the rule of finding. This is the first step of finding the inverse. Replace f of x by y and you get f of x equals to 2 plus 5 log x. 2 plus 5 log x. This is a natural logarithm. Now interchange the variables. The next step. First step uh, replacing x, f of x by y. Second step replacing the variables, interchanging the variables. Right here x and on the other side replace x with y. 5 log y. And third step we will make uh, y as subject. Bring 2 to the left side so it becomes minus 2 equals to 5 log y. This 5 will divide to the other side, so log y will be equals to x minus 2 divided by 5. To get rid of log, we take exponent of both sides. Implies that we can write over here y is equals to e to the power x minus 2 over 5. Got it? So this is the way of uh, getting rid of logarithm. If you want to get rid of log ln from both sides, uh, you have to take exponent. To get rid of exponent, we take log. It is the rule. Now, this y is actually the inverse of x, f inverse x in the last step is equals to e to the power x minus 2 over 5. Now, we need to find f inverse 22. Replace x by 22. We will get the answer here. 22 minus 2 over 5. 22 minus 2 is 20. Divide by 5 is e to the power 4. So, e to the power 4 is the answer. First part is done. For second part, use differentiation to prove that g is increasing function. Let me tell you increasing function. For example, if this is the in, like this here, from here to here, if you draw a tangent on this side of the, uh, the graph, you know here the derivative of the tangent is greater than 0. It means it is positive. So this way from this point to this point, function is increasing. It is called increasing. When the derivative is greater than 0, function is increasing. Got it? For example, if you draw a tangent to this line, you know, this tangent is negative. This derivative is less than 0. Okay? For this part of the graph, here function is decreasing. It is increasing and decreasing. For decreasing function, derivative should be less than 0. For increasing function, derivative should be greater than 0. Now, you need to differentiate this function now to get uh, uh, to determine it is increasing or decreasing. g of x equals to 6x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1. For second part, g of x is equals to 6x, 6x minus 2 over 2x plus 1. Let me write the formula for differentiating u over v form if you have numerator and denominator given. If you want to, it is called the quotient rule. We take the square of the denominator. We keep denominator as is. Take the deriv derivative of the numerator. Got it? Then minus of formula. We keep the numerator as is. Take the derivative of the denominator. This formula we could apply over here to find the derivative. Derivative uh, of g of x is g prime x. So here what we will write? We will write as 2x plus 1 whole square square of the denominator, write the denominator as is and derivative of numerator, derivative of numerator is 6 then minus of formula, write the numerator as is derivative of the denominator, that is 2 so simplifying the numerators, 6 multiply inside the bracket, it becomes 12x plus 6 and this 2 will multiply and don't forget this minus sign this minus will make it minus 12x this minus and that minus makes it plus, so it will be plus 4 this 12x is cancelled out and in the denominator we have 2x plus 1 whole square. 
now the answer for the derivative of g of x is equals to 10 over 2x plus 1 whole square you know this square is always positive and 10 is positive already so this number is always greater than 0 hence this shows that therefore this shows that shows that g of x is increasing it is the rule of uh, the increasing function if the derivative is greater than 0 it is increasing if it is less than 0 it is decreasing so second part is done now you need to find inverse of g when you are finding the inverse you should get the domain as well because in the mark scheme there is one mark for the writing the domain domain is the uh, domain, domain of inverse function is always equals to the range of the function you got it uh, later on we will find it i will show you how to find the uh, range of g of x first let us find g inverse x uh, first step as usual as we did in the first part we will replace g of x by y y will be equal to 6x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 for c uh, we replace g of x by y and here 6x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 first step write g of x as y second step interchange the variables y will be replaced by x interchange by x and x will be interchange by y 6y minus 2 divided by 2y plus 1 the third step we will make uh, y as subject multiply this will multiply to the left side so it becomes 2xy plus x is equals to 6y minus 2 now you need to get the value of uh, you have to get y alone so this y goes there and you can move this minus 2 to the left side so it becomes x plus 2 is equals to 6y minus 2xy from here y is common so it left with inside the bracket 6 minus 2x y this 6 minus 2x will divide to the other side so y will be equals to x plus 2 divide by 6 minus 2x therefore this is the inverse of that function g inverse x is equals to x plus 2 over 6 minus 2x got it uh, this is the answer but in the answer you have to add the domain values of x validity of x uh, to write the domain of inverse g inverse x you know domain of g inverse x is always equals to range of range of g of x range of the function uh, let me tell you how to find the range actually we our, our function g of x was 6x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1 got it uh, this is the function given here and the domain for the function is given as x greater than 1 over 3 you know x value minimum value for x is 1 over 3 if you substitute here 1 over 3 in this function you will get the minimum value of the inverse so this will be the range actually the minimum range of the function g of 1 over 3 replaced over there so it will be 1 over 3 here minus 2 divided by 2 into 1 over 3 plus 1 for sure this numerator becomes 0 so whole will be 0 so minimum value but 0 is not included in the domain by the way got it because it is greater than 1 over 3 1 over 3 is not in the domain of g of x therefore 0 is not included in the domain of inverse uh, here this 0 0 is the minimum value for the range now for the maximum value you know for maximum value of x is approaching to infinity because x is greater than 1 over 3 so maximum value will be infinity once you apply apply over here if you apply this limit x approaches to infinity uh, you know this will get the infinity over infinity form you know okay in the, such kind of functions we always take uh, apply the L'Hopital's rule L'Hopital's rule is what when you get 0 over 0 form after applying the limit or if you are getting infinity over infinity form we differentiate the numerator and denominator together to get the result so what is the derivative of the numerator here we always uh, take the differential of this one derivative of 6x minus 2 is 6 and what is the derivative of the denominator that is 2 and we are getting the answer as 3 so value of the inverse of g function will lie between 0 and 3 got it 
this is the minimum value and this one is the maximum but these values are not included in the answer you can write over here range is you know here range of uh, g of x is you can write there 0 is less than g of x is less than 3 so g of x values lie between 0 and 3 therefore this will be the domain of inverse function 0 is less than x is less than 3 so this is the answer for the third part of question number 5 hopefully you understand it how to find the domain because uh, in the mark scheme you will check uh, this this has one mark you have to write this domain for the inverse function so you should know how to find the domain of the inverse function a domain of inverse function is always equal to the range of the function i told you here how to find the range of the function now for the last part of this question find range of fg for the last part d we need to find the range of fg range of fg let me tell you how to find the range of the composite function like ft first of all you need to write uh, g of x inside the bracket and find the range of the values of g of x so take the range of the values of g of x say it is lying from 0 to 3 first we will apply the minimum value of the range of the value over the function f of x so these values of g of x will uh, tell us the range of the composite function first we will apply the minimum value for g of x and then for maximum value for g of x over the function f of x got it and at the end we will able to find the uh, find the range of the composite function let's see how to do that uh, here is the way i will show that all the all the working steps are given here so to find range of fg you should write fg in this form f g of x and we from the previous part we already got the range the minimum value for the range of gx is zero you know and uh, function f of x is equals to let me write the function as you know uh, function is given as in the question 2 plus 5 log x 2 plus 5 log x you know the minimum value of uh, the function is 0 and uh, you can apply the limit there the minimum value for the x approaches to 0 from positive side for f of x you know it will be equals to for sure negative infinity let me let me show you the basic graph for the logarithmic function looks like that uh, it goes this way you know it, it is the with the increase of x value f of x is increases and with the decrease of x value uh, but value of x is always greater than 0 or greater than 0 for 0 it approaches to infinity always logarithmic function approaches to infinity at when x equals to 0 got it when x approaches to 0 you know function is going this way downward negative infinity from positive side x is going this way you know it is x is approaching to 0 positive from right side so it will go to negative infinity f of x is approaching to negative infinity got it and uh, when x is approaching to when x is approaches to 3 you know maximum value for g of x is 3 in the previous part i already called uh, the maximum value for the g of x is 3 and if you apply 3 there in this function f of x we will get the maximum value for fg that will be equal to 2 plus 5 log 3 so minimum value for fg will be negative infinity and maximum value is uh, 2 plus 5 log 3 but they are not included they are not included and you can write the range as fg will be less than uh, greater than negative infinity and greater than 2 plus 5 log 3 so this will be the answer for the last part of this question question number 5 is done if you have any question or any doubt please write in the comment box thank you